Okay, this is the single leg pogo hop. Uh, this is actually a fairly intense plyometric, and we can use it for a couple of different things. In this case, we are using it as a plyometric, so we're being pretty quick off the ground and stiff and using the elastic components of the tendons, but we're still getting some force absorption. We are gonna land in the midfoot and allow for the heel to drop a little bit and absorb those forces and get the foot involved, right? So what that means is that we are letting the foot do its pronation we are letting the ankle dorsiflex and we're getting the arch to drop and do its thing and then rebound out of that drop while still getting some of that elastic bounciness out of it. So again, as you can see, I'm, I'm landing in the midfoot-ish area. We're getting the full foot involved, letting the, the heel come down and then bouncing out of that quickly. All right, so still more of a plyometric. And then from the side here, again, you can see I'm landing in about midfoot. And then I drop down and I get the whole foot involved. I let the heel come down, I let the foot pronate, um, and I let the ankle dorsiflex, right? And then quick on the way back up out. Great exercise for building in some of that elastic component and starting to work on single leg plyometrics. Again, it's an intense exercise, an intense plyometric. Um, and then we can make things harder by, by getting more knee elevation as we do that and jumping higher, different things like that. And again, the forces just exponentially increase as we do things like that. So it's important that you have some guidance when you're working some plyometrics in and not to push it too fast too soon and always make sure that you are rested and not in a fatigue state when you're doing plyometrics to help avoid injury. So yeah, go ahead, give it a shot. It's a great, great drill.